Hello, my name is Maxim, and today for this Web Engines Hackfest uh, Chromium Ozone session, I'm going to present you uh, the Ozone, how basically we can implement uh, on Ozone backend using the Ozone abstraction layer, basically the essential parts that you need to implement on backend. So, what's Ozone again? Uh, Ozone is basically an abstraction layer which in terms of Chromium lives beneath the Aura windowing system and it what it does it basically provides a wrapper for the for the back for, for the platform so that you can choose uh, any backend that is implemented like X11 Wayland or even DRM which is also should be possible to run on Linux also headless for example and like in this presentation i'm going to implement gdk and show you how you can basically run it and you will get an idea how much how much how many things you basically need to have on backend impl implemented and of course everything can be chosen at runtime so if we implement gdk now it's it, nothing stops us from running wayland in the same binary or x11 or headless uh, so the example at Ozone GDK. So we are going to learn by implementing it. Our goal is to add Ozone GDK backend that Chromium can basically draw into it. But uh, I have chosen the software path instead of hardware, a hardware accelerated one because I just found it uh, quicker to implement the software one, but nothing limits you from uh, implementing the hardware one. So the following steps uh, are needed to have Ozone GDK working. So we need to provide entry points for GN so that the scripts that we have uh, in Ozone, uh, the, here they are the generate constructor lead, list and generate Ozone platform list, uh, which are basically uh, creating the constructor, constructors for the Ozone platform and also creating a list of existing platform, existing Ozone platforms. Uh, on the browser side, we need to implement the Ozone platform. Uh, this is basically the main interface that we have in Ozone. Also the platform window, which is for the native window and the platform screen, which is uh, which basically represents uh, the screen, the physical screen, it combines the displays you have so that Aura can know where it's going to, uh, well, not that just Aura, but a client, I would say, knows where it's going to uh, put a new created window so that it can adjust uh, bounds accordingly, translate them from deep to pixels if you have scale volume, scale value set to something more than one and so on. Uh, for the GPU side, we need to implement uh, the surface, surface Factory Ozone. Uh, that's basically the class that provides, uh, uh, tells the client what kind of, for example, GL implementations available, or if no, it can also create the surface uh, canvas for for client to draw it. So uh, if you want to have the hardware accelerated path enabled, you need to implement GL Ozone. Uh, otherwise, implementing the surface as on canvas is more than enough. And also, we need to stop the client native, native Pixma factory. This is basically needed to create uh, the native Pixmaps, Pixmaps. Like, for example, in Wayland, we use libgbm to create these Pixmaps. So, the entry points. Uh, as I said, the Python script generates the constructor list. But you may have a question how you can uh, make GN know that we're going to have a new platform and we need to generate, uh, use the script to generate the constructor for the GDK. Uh, and it's basically uh, easy. You just need to go to build config as on extra GNI and add extra platforms. Like in my case, I added GDK platform that's for the name which you can choose with the dash dash ozone platform command line flag and also you need to tell where your platform is located basically ozone 
first, Ozone always thinks that everything starts with UI slash Ozone and then something. So platform GDK, like uh, for example, like like here. So UI Ozone, we go platform GDK, yeah, and we have everything basically here. Um, so we need to implement Ozone Platform GDK and Ozone Platform Window. But before, let's talk a little bit how basically Chromium communicates with the Ozone Platform. So on the Aura side, we have Window Tree Host Platform and it communicates with the Ozone Platform. It basically asks it, it to initialize UI side, then it asks to create the platform window, create an you know, input method, screen, and so on and so on. So basically, Ozone Platform returns all this object to, uh, to, to Aura, and then Aura just uses them directly, like that. Uh, yeah, so it can trigger show on the platform window, like, and the platform window will tell that, hey, the activation has changed and then the browser can do something else on this uh, event. It has also maximize, set bounds, and so on. So we have uh, uh, a lot of different, uh, <laughs> well, this interface is quite quite, uh, quite rich. We have quite many things here, including like stacking above, stacking the top, setting the opacity, and so on and so on. So, uh, we don't need to implement everything for the Amazon platform GDK, but only some uh, important things. So the first one is Surface Factory, then create create method for the platform window and screen. Also, we need to implement the initialize UI and initialize GPU, and also get platform properties if you. Uh, kind of has you know if you kind of have some some additional properties that the client should know about the Amazon platform. Uh, other functions we need well as long as they are pure virtual functions we still need to implement them but we will return uh, either null pointer or some default uh, implementation that we have in Amazon like here the courses factory so we will use the default one. And for the uh, GP platform support host, we will return stop one. And for the input method, we will use the default one because if we don't have one uh, returned, then our will just crash because it assumes the input method it all, all is always available. Uh, yeah, and it basically will look like here, like, like this. So the surface factory, as you can see, this is the one we will implement the GDK Surface Factory, the Cursor Factory, which is the default one, the Bitmap Cursor Factory. Uh, for the GP platform support host, we create stop, and yeah, we also actually need to set up the layout engine. Otherwise, at some point it can crash because it assumes it's always there. And yeah, it's worth noting that initialized UI is called on the browser process side and initialized GPU is called on the GPU process side. But uh, you should be reminded that if you run Chrome with the in-process GPU flag, uh, then the initialized GPU will run on the GPU thread instead. And in this case, the Surface Factory, for example, can be created by UI. Well, it, well basically, this is not needed here. But only here, but just is just uh, implementation detail. So the next one is GTK as on window. Uh, there are several important points in case of GTK, like where you need to create a native window. In case of GTK, it's GTK window new. In case of Wayland, you create a new Wayland surface. In case of X11, you create the new X11, new X window. Uh, also, you need to initialize this window, like set bounds and so on, and then return accelerated widget. And accelerated widget is a Chromium's internal representation of, wind, of widget 
or basically a handle for a native window. So in X11, we use X window because uh, it's basically just an basically like an ID of the window. In Wayland, we use own counter because the Wayland surfaces are basically pointers to uh, surfaces on Wayland side and passing them around Chromium is, well, basically not, not, not possible. So we use own counter to uh, set a ID of this native window and then we map them on GPU site and on the uh, browser site will basically know how to use it. And you need to return the widget by calling delegate on accelerated widget available so that uh, Chromium can uh, create the compositor and start sending frames. But that's not enough. You also need to implement show to basically show the window set bounds and get bounds because Chromium also relies on them. And if you need UI events, which I think you will definitely need, you need to implement uh, event listeners for, to get them from the underlying system and send them to the delegate. Also, you can implement some other virtual methods, but most of them can be left unimplemented for the basic usage. So here's the GTK window. Uh, so we're storing bounds. We're setting the move for size handler. It's basically to make it possible to for for Chromium to issue uh, move for size request to the uh, GTK server. We create the GTK window, set title, connect some uh, events, and then well, this is just implementation detail that it was just easier for me to. Uh, have GTK window manager in this case uh, to store the windows and uh, return them to the GPU thread because yeah it's worth noting that I used in process GPU because uh, Python GTK widgets is not uh, that easy uh in case of multiple processes you need to use the gtk socket and so on so i was just lazy to implement that and i used in process gpu with, with this gtk window manager and you return then accelerated widget uh then for the show it's just gtk widget show all for the bounds you get the bounds from 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 uh or and then set them well in case in this case i only set size then your return bounds uh what tells yeah this is the dispatching uh move for size request from chromium so basically you need to figure out the hit test uh, and then issue the move track or resize track like here so this is the mapping for the heat testing. Uh, for events, so that's basically handle, handlers for mouse. I didn't implement keyboard, but it should be easy as well. So you just get, get an event, create a Chromium event, and then dispatch the event to the delegate, and that's it. Uh, and the last object is GTK screen. So basically it, as I said, provides information, what kind of screen you have, which consists of multiple displays, can, can consist of multiple displays. And uh, in our case, we will just provide a basic implementation that will return a display for a widget and return the widget at screen point. And for the demo, I just <laughs> took a primary display that I display basically, I, I have and just hard coded the parameters after checking them from the display settings. Uh, otherwise, you need to use uh, some mechanism to fetch the displays uh, via GDK or like we have in case of X11, we use some X methods. And in case of Wayland, we use 
uh, well and protocols to have this information fetched. Um, GTK screen, yeah. So, like I said, uh, some hard coded hard coded values. So we always return the primary display. So pretty easy. And uh, you can see that screen is created via the Ozone platform here, create screen. And if you are interested, uh, the user of the platform screen is basically screen ozone. And screen ozone is created in, inside Aura and it's, it calls to ozone platform to create the screen and then it does all the stuff. Well, basically it kind of works like a proxy to the uh, platform screen that lives on the other side. So are we done now? No, we're not. So there is still something to implement. And this is something lives on the GPU process side or thread, GPU thread in case of running, if, if we run Chromium with in-process GPU. Thread. So basically we need to implement the surface factory ozone and it can return supported GL implementations like hardware acceleration or Swift shader. And Chromium has a plenty of them like desktop GL, Swift shader GL, Apple GL, that's for macros, what else, Angle and so on. So for the demo, as I said, we will use a surface uh, software path instead. So we will, impl we, I implemented the GTA Surface Factory here. Uh, I added this top implement implementation of GL zone in GL, but it basically does, does nothing and it returns null, null pointer. Uh, but instead I implemented the canvas. So uh, we will use the canvas surface instead. Uh, so the surface ozone canvas. This is used when hardware accelerator path is not available. So you, or if you have it available, you can just path dash dash disable GPU, and then Chromium will just use uh, the software path instead. It returns the SCIA canvas where Chromium draws to uh, when canvas has data written. Present canvas is called. And when the resize canvas is called, SK canvas becomes invalid and we need to create a new canvas. So surface canvas ozone uh, looks like this. Yeah. So this is the interface. It's pretty much well documented and it is extremely easy to use it. So you basically, need to provide the implement get canvas interface, which is uh, basically called after the resize canvas. And during the resize canvas, you should create a buffer and then escape canvas, escape canvas where Chromium will be able to draw content and present canvas. Basically that's when Chromium is done and you can uh, issue in, in our case, GTK to draw the contents to screen. And for the GTK, we will use GTK draw in area, area with clever image surface. So we we'll create GTK frame, create drawing area, and add that to frame. Then we create clever image surface, create a skia surface from clever image surface, and return skia canvas from skia surface. Uh, I'm not 100% sure that this is the best way how to deal with that, but for the quick demo that I did, that was more than enough. And then when present canvas is called, we will create canvas, uh, create Kyra region, uh, get, the, get the GDK drawing context from the drawing area, uh, get Kyra context from this GDK drawing context and paint from the Kyra, Kyra image surface in the Kyra image context and let GDK know that we have done with drawing frame and it can do its stuff. Um, so GDK surface canvas, yeah, so it's 
much uh, basic implementation, as I said. So the, here is the size canvas. We do all this stuff. We create uh, image surface, uh, Cairo image surface, get data. Then we create ski surface from this data and return the canvas. And once, once Chromium done, with writing the contents, we, it, the present canvas is called, and we do all this stuff to basically present everything on screen. So are we done now? Yes, we are. We're finally done, and we can uh, run the Ozone GTK demo and see how it works. Uh, but before that, let's see a uh, big picture. So I created some diagrams to show you how it works so uh no 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 th this is not not the one this is why not <laughs> don't be afraid um yeah so the gdk so uh we have awesome platform gdk that lives both on browser and gpu process or uh, gpu thread also so our uses the awesome platform gdk to create gdk screen to create gdk as a window and it basically uses all of them and we have viz or gp process or thread uh, which also uses the ozone platform gdk but it uses some gpu counterparts like create gdk surface factory and then the gpu or viz uses this factory to create canvas surface or get gl ozone and then use this gl ozone to create some uh, objects that help to Initial, initialize GL and use some GL commands to uh, do the drawing and so on. So let's see how it works now, the demo. So as you can see, we use disciple GPU and in process GPU. Because as I, as I said, I was lazy to implement the GTK socket to pass the GTK widgets um, between the processes, so I just use a single process mode so that uh, GPU runs on the on, on just threads on a, on a separate threads thread, and is able to access the objects on the browser UI thread. Um, yeah, that's that's the demo. You need to provide this flag uses on platform and on platform GDK, and you can see that it works pretty much okay. So events work also resizing works and as long as i haven't implemented the keyboard handling i had to uh tell you we, we need to access youtube via command line uh, yeah it loads well it's even, even though it's kind of slow but enough for the software path and you can see that it works pretty much okay we have all the decorations that chromium provides and so on yeah that's it. so thank you for your attention and i hope you enjoyed this presentation